What's up, YouTube? Guy in the camo hat here for you. Um, today we are going to be drinking some poison. Uh, that's right. This stuff is so bad for you. But I have a paper to write tonight, and I'm so fucking tired. It isn't even funny. Um, so yeah. Crack the can on camera. I'm gonna chug like maybe a third or a half of this right away and then put a dip in. And then we can continue with the video. All right. Some Copenhagen straight. Pack it real nice. You yeah. see, I can see him. This this is completely off topic, but I saw it in someone else's video, and I definitely remember making a post about it or a comment on it about uh. There's one right there. The uh, the thickness of the cut, or the poor quality of the cut in some of the cans. I mean, it's, let me dig through here and see if I can find a couple. Um, it's not as bad in the Copenhagen straight cans as it was in the Copenhagen wintergreen cans. But in the Copenhagen wintergreen cans, like I would at least have one anywhere from like one to four dips per can where I would just be sucking on it and all of a sudden there'd be something poking my lip and uh, I'd pull take the dip out of my mouth and like pull like a fucking piece of mulch off of the uh, it'd be like that thick but like twice as long and like this is really soft like it would actually be hard and like jabbing you and like the in the gums I noticed that a lot about Copenhagen wintergreen and that was probably the one my one complaint about it but pack it twice pack it nice here we go So, yeah, sodi pop spit, mmm, holy fuck, got in the camel hat, it's not sodi pop, it's soda, or pop, or cola, or coke. Or whatever you call it. I don't care what people call it. I don't even know what I call it. Like, I always call it different things. I either call it, I use, I call it pop and soda. Yeah. Like, without even realizing it, usually. Um, yeah, so why did I, oh yeah. Had this because, oh see, look, it's green. Green for poison, green and black and yellow danger um i was lurking on the 4chan the other day and i saw a thread about a guy who was giving up pop from that point on and he posted a bunch of different links and they were like videos and shit like that. Um, there was one really good one. What was it called? Sugar the Bitter Truth. I will be putting it down below uh, in the descriptions, but it's a fucking 90 minute long video. So you're probably not gonna have 
um, or I don't know, you might find it hard to squeeze into your schedule or something like that. What I ended up doing is I just turned it on and like had the volume going and I minimized it and just listened. Um, I don't know. You might not want that one. I'll try and find, I saw like a, a bridge version of the same thing that was only like a min 11 minutes long and he basically cut out all the orgo chemistry that was in the original one because orgo chemistry is a bitch and I hate it and I never want to take it again because it sucks ass. Mmm, that was completely off topic. Anyway, um, yeah. I'm already starting to feel it. Anyway, TLDR, this shit's so bad for you. Serving size, one can, 34 grams of sugar. Thirty-four grams. I'm not sure how much, like, volume-wise that is, but it also made me self. Hold on. Let me go get it. Let me go get it. Okay. So at our school, we have these this thing called. Well, they're like these little shops. And with your meal plan, you can get meal swipes, which let you into the dining hall, and you can get credits. So, I have a combination between credits and meal swipes, because I usually don't eat breakfast, and I go and buy food for breakfast in the morning, because I don't have time to get breakfast. So I just have it in my room so I can eat it when I get back from PT, get the shower, and run to class right away. Um, so I get these two dollar muffins it's a blueberry muffin it has to be healthy for you right wrong three hundred and seventy milligrams of salt what does this have in it I don't even, I, this was really high too this has four hundred and ten milligrams of salt uh... let's see this has 29 grams of sugar this muffin here and it weighs 113 grams it weighs 113 it weighs 110 grams and 30 grams of that is sugar so this is approximately like 27 percent mass by volume or 27 percent by weight sugar I guess maybe I don't know what I'm saying is sugar makes up more than a quarter of this thing's weight and I'm eating that for breakfast in the morning because I'm a broke ass college kid and I can't afford real food yeah um pop bad for you high fructose corn syrup really bad for you that's why I wanted to bring that up. I remember that now. Um, because high fructose corn syrup, you can't get away from it. Because it's so fucking cheap and everyone uses it. In the video, he talks about that. He talks about a bunch of shit. It's a real educational video. Watch it if you have the time. Mm, what else is that? Um, oh yeah. Um, reason why this video is so late is because I am doing baton the Baton Memorial Death March this not this Sunday as in two days from now but Sunday the 17th the 17th yes St. Patty's Day so I'll be leaving we're all leaving Thursday we get back Tuesday um, 
I plan on taking um, some footage down there, taking a bunch of pictures. I'm going to have a camera. Um, and I hope to do at least one video. I'm hoping that I have enough <coughs> that I have enough pictures where I can you know make it into like a part one and part two where they're both like 15 to 20 minutes long ish somewhere around there um and just like like have me like put a dip in in the beginning this is just a rough idea for right now just so you guys know what's coming up mm, put a dip in and then play the footage um maybe split it half and half do like the first part of the rock and then the second part of the rock or something like that and then like play have the photos come up as like a slideshow and maybe like talk you through it about what we did and everything I'm not really sure I just know that I'm there will be a baton video and it will be pretty exciting um but, but, but yes yeah wow This stuff, I I can already feel it, like, fucking, fucking, fucking with me, man. The government put some, some chemicals in there, and it's messing with my brain, and making me not be able to think, and it's making me, making me lose my fine motor control. See that? I'm turning into, turning into Mr. Michael J. Fox, with the shaky hand. I never had that problem, even when I was going through half to a full tin a day over the summer working, plus the coffee in the morning. Although, I think this has, this thing is apparently like two or three cups of coffee or some shit like that. Let's see, caffeine. I saw it on here. Some oh, the, here it is. Two sixty milligrams of caffeine per package. Also, this warning label here. A lot of people don't read it, but it basically tells you that this is terrible for you, and you should not be doing it. Although it says warning, not recommended for individuals under the under eighteen years of age, pregnant or nursing women. However. This is also not recommended for people under the age of 18, nor is it recommended for pregnant or nursing women. And I do it anyway. But I think, in my opinion, a couple dips of this a day. Maybe, eh, yeah, yes, in the long run. Short run, definitely, in the long run, too. is a shit ton better for you than a can of this every day or every other day. This will just wreck you. This just destroys your immune system. Um, it fucks with your kidneys. It fucks with your liver and a whole bunch of other shit. These are bad too. See, you can see my fucking hands shaking. This, I'm not. I'm not doing this on purpose. I mean, my hands on their own. Like when I don't have a dip in, when I'm not strung out on caffeine or any of that shit. Uh, my hands tend to be a little shaky. Why the fuck is my dip coming apart in my mouth? Anyway, I must have not packed it nice when I packed it twice. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, these are bad for you. Uh, so you ask, why do I have it? Why am I drinking it? Um, because... Okay, this is maybe two... Yeah, this is two-thirds to three-quarters of the way full. I got this before Christmas. And the only reason I have that is because I really like the way it tastes. Like, it's sweet, 
but it's also like really tart so whenever I have like a sugar craving or something like that you know I just like take it and I just take a tiny little sip and then I put the cap back on and put it back away and that's good that's good enough for me I'm sure there's plenty of other things that I could compensate it with but whatever it's still bad for you but it's moderation you know, whatever I don't know um, I can't really think straight and it's not like I'm sensitive to caffeine or anything like that um, I drink coffee a lot you know it's just I think it's just that there's so much in like such a high concentration along with all the other shit that's in here that you're not supposed to have in your body that just kind of like plus I usually don't drink those so that's probably what's wrecking wrecking me right now um, I really don't understand I see all the time when I'm like on the bus going to class and stuff people will be coming back from the gym and they have a monster and it's like you just fucking worked out you know your body's pumping endorphins or your brain's pumping endorphins through your body you already feel good you don't need to be drinking a shit ton of sugar and caffeine plus you just exercise and you're using that and you're destroying your metabolism I really don't understand why people do that but anyway um I think that's really everything I have for this video energy drinks and soda in general bad for you it's bad if you drink more that actually if you drink a can of pop a day you should probably cut back I don't want to sound like your mom but it's not that good for you um yeah uh and baton baton's coming up that'll be my next video it should be pretty epic hopefully mm. I think that's everything I have for you today so this has been the guy in the camel hat and I will see you all later